Good evening and welcome to Daymark Tower on the southwest coast path. One of my favourite locations to come and photograph, particularly at this time of year when there are lots of crops in the field. But that path there behind me, that is now closed to the public. So in this video, I'm going to talk about why that is and we will, of course, be taking some landscape photographs. So why is the path there behind me closed? Well, reading the sign down there, it appears that people have been using this access point, going into the field, wandering about and causing damage to crops. So the farmers had no choice but to close access to the field to allow the crops to re-establish this year, which I think is fair enough. But what sort of person does that, goes into a farmer's field and abuses the access rights and wanders about and damages crops, whether that's intentional or unintentional? Well, we'll discuss that a bit later on in the video. First thing I'm going to do though is capture some landscape photographs. Now, while my access to this particular viewpoint is restricted, I'm still pretty sure I can get a shot here. And also if I have a wonder about around the perimeter of the fence using my slightly longer lens, I'm sure I'll be able to pick out a few additional compositions as well. Right, for my first composition, it's a bit of a two for one in my opinion. So I can never tell when I take this shot whether I want to have it in a vertical orientation or a landscape orientation. So I'm going to take both versions. But what I'm looking for here is I've got the path here as it leads out to the tower. Now the path is actually a little bit wider than I have seen it in previous years, but I've got my 24 to 200 on. So I'm just missing out the first bit of the path here because it's a little bit in shadow. I've got some nice light there from the setting sun, which is just kissing the top of the crops. I'm going to keep an eye on my shutter speed as well because I want there to be a little bit of movement in those crops. And of course, the light on the tower is critically important here. When its light is grey and flat, that is just a great big hunk of rock. But when you get the nice soft light on it, it really, you can see all the different sides and it turns it from that flat two-dimensional object into something three-dimensional. In fact, I'm getting a little bit of light now, so I'm just going to take that picture. Focus. Take the picture. Brilliant stuff. Now I'll just flip the camera into the landscape orientation, do a quick recomposition and take that shot as well. Well, I'm reasonably happy with those shots. I've got a sneaky suspicion. I think I'm gonna like the vertical one. I tend to do like the vertical one more than the horizontal one more often than not. But you know, like I say, always good to take them. Uh, let me know in the comments below which one you prefer. So I've come round the field now and I'm facing a tower at a slightly different angle. Definitely a long lens job, this one. So it's quite a messy foreground here. And I've got one of those, uh, I think they're called tram lines in the field. I learned this actually on Jeremy Clarkson's farming program on Amazon. Yeah. These tram lines are deliberately put in there to help with the, uh, I think the fertilization of the crop so it's all done evenly. Anyway, uh, you always learn something, don't you? Um, <laughs> so, what, but the purpose of that, uh, those tram lines I think they're called, is that it gives you a nice leading line out to the tower. I've got the light there, which is almost behind me now, along the crops, out onto the tower. The sky's gone a bit funny. I knew it was gonna be quite a lot of cloud tonight, but it's gone quite hazy. So it's kind of a bit nondescript, the sky. So it's gonna be, I guess the shot's gonna have quite a lot of empty space, but I still think it's a, a shot worth taking. Fantastic being here down at the coast on a sunny evening with a bit of a breeze. It's always nice. I'm gonna take that picture. Yeah, I'm quite happy with that. I'm pretty happy with my evening as well. I think I've got a nice selection of photographs there, all taken from within, or sorry, outside the perimeter 
of the field. No need for me to, to wander inside there to get a shot. However, I am looking forward to that path opening up again and I can get in there with my wide angle lens. At the top of this video, I did ask the question, are photographers at fault for causing this field to be closed? No, photographers aren't at the root cause of the issue. It's just people. In fact, when I was down there taking pictures uh, where, where the path is out to the tower, two separate groups of people asked if I wouldn't mind moving aside so they can go down to the tower and have a look. I did say, look, you know the tower's closed because of the access issues because people are going in there damaged and said yes and, and proceeded to go over the fence and then they didn't do any damage but I think it just shows you I guess some of the the attitude towards these things that, that, that people have but again these is all in the minority and I would never badge all photographers the same because it's, it's about being a person that's a problem <laughs> not the fact that you happen to have a camera with you. Now, I'm not gonna certainly stand here and preach and, and say that I'm all perfect. I have probably done things that I probably shouldn't have done previously. But important things, I'm trying to learn from that. And I'm trying to understand the impact my photography has on the environment. I love these places and I love photographing them, but I also need to be aware that the impact I'm having. So I'm trying to learn and hopefully this video will get you to learn as well. And, and just think about the environment in which you're photographing. But that's it from Daymark Tower. I hope you've enjoyed this video and I'll see you in the next one.